So what's up guys, Liz Neil here, and today I bought myself this. This is the Pybox NVMe enclosure, and to be honest with you, there are a couple of reasons why I bought this. Now, in the, today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick test on it, just showcasing how exactly it looks like, and, you know, just discussing if it's worth buying or not. So that's all I'm going to be doing with this. So the reason why I bought it, the backstory behind it is that uh, for my Japan trip, I had taken my friend's NVMe SSD enclosure. Now, he also had a Pybox one. And I noticed that it was really reliable, it worked really well, it never gave me any issues. So I said, you know, rather than taking his again and again, I'll just buy my own. Now this one cost around 988 rupees exactly for me from Amazon, but you can get it for roughly around 1000 rupees here and there. So basically, I just want to showcase that to you first. So basically, you can buy it two ways. One is from the Pybox, the Pybox official website. It looks pretty jank, to be honest with you, but it does work. So you can get it for around 795.76 rupees, which is pretty odd, but you can get for that. And if you go to the cart itself, you basically get this free thing over here, this foldable mobile stand over here. And the total comes to, after GST and things like that, it comes to around 939 rupees. So you get it for this rate over here, which is again, still cheaper than what I bought it for. And uh, you can get also from Amazon for around 1,134 rupees. So you can go with any way, shape or form. And if you see the, the price history over here on Amazon, it has gone as low as 849 rupees. So just keep that in mind. So at this point of time, if you're thinking about buying from Amazon, I'll be linking both of them down in the description around below, whichever is cheaper, you can go for that. But basically, uh, if you're buying from Amazon, you are paying a little bit higher rate compared to what you'll get it even from the official website or even in the price history of Amazon itself. So just keep that thought in mind. So by saying that, let's start off with taking a look at the device itself. So first of all, let's take a look at what are the things which come up with this thing. So first of all, let's take a look at the NVMe SSD enclosure itself. So it opens up something like this. You just close this down and uh, you see this over here. So basically it comes with this retention clip over here. You get two of them, I lost one of them. And uh, it's basically this. So you need to plug in your NVMe thing over here and that's about it. So you can just remove this like this. To be honest with you, I don't like this thing. This is one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Uh, my friend's one has like a nice a toolless mechanism. This is also still toolless, but his is just better. It just clips in. It's pretty much garbage. That's one thing I don't like about it. So what you need to do is just need to put this like this. Then you need to put this like this. And then just gently put it in like this. So that's pretty much it. Then what you can do is you can just do something like this without just ruining the sticker itself. And uh, just press this and you're good to go. So this is nice aluminium, which feels really nice. Again, there are cheaper alternatives if you want with the Pybox series also, but I bought the aluminium one because again, it was around 1000 rupees. So that was pretty good. Other than that, you get a lot of stuff inside of it. You get, first of all, you get two cables over here. So one is a type C to type C, which is pretty handy. And one is type A to type C. So you get these two nice ones. This, by the way, this NVMe supports 10 Gbps, which is pretty neat. You also get this thing, this free thermal pad. So if you see over here, they are just doing a beta program. So they're just providing this for free. Um, in this small packet, you get those retention plugs. I, again, I lost one. So I just have one of them right now, but don't worry if you have lost both of them, there's still a way to get like, you know, extra ones, which I'm just going to show a little bit later. And you also get this free stand over here. So that's pretty neat too. I personally don't use it, but I basically just gave this to my mom. <laughs> that's about it. So you basically get that. By the way, regarding the retention plugs, you do get like, you know, if you have lost them, you do get like for 2458. So it's not that bad. So that's about that for that. So what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be do, just plugging this in. So I'm just going to be plugging this via type C. So let's just do that. Or maybe, or maybe not. Let's just plug into type C. Let's just get this up. And uh, wow, I just chose a type A. 
give me a second type c to type c and let's plug it in i also have by the way a nice um, you know a nice thermometer basically to, to check the temperature itself of the pi box itself so that's pretty cool so for first thing which i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be doing these tests so i have some files over here one are like there's like a lot of files this is like game files over here so they are around uh 299 files over here and uh, i have a whole game over here an iso and i have these three videos over here so the, all of these are like 8k footages i think this one is 4k but that's about it so i can just you know play this one so that's about that so what i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be copying this copy and this is the storage itself so this is the 512 gb so 500 gb ssd or the nvme ssd which i just added in and i can just say paste so i'm getting around 222 like around 300 4 552 500 mb like that's pretty good that's really decent to be honest with you that's really nice so what i'm going to be doing again is that i'm going to be doing the same thing going this copying and go to transfer back again create a new folder and just pasting it inside so that's another test which you can again see so i'm getting around 850 900 so that's much faster to copy from the uh, you know from the enclosure so it's really fast Another test which I wanted to do was let's just plug unplug this and let's see if we get similar results with the type A to type C. Again, I'm using the Honor MagicBook X16 in this case. And let's just plug this in. Okay, I have it over here. And hopefully it does get connected. There we go. So we have all these files inside. Let's delete them. Okay. Let's go to transfer back again. Let's copy these two. Let's uncopy this. Copy. Let's delete this file. We don't require it. And let's paste it in. So the transfer rates is around similar. It's around 300 MB. 300. Again, it all depends on the file structure itself. Basically, you have multiple files. is going to be lesser speed compared to if you have just one file. Just keep that in mind. But still, it's a little bit less, so maybe similar around those lines because I've even seen like around 500 ish, if I'm if I'm not wrong, from the previous transfer. So just keep that in mind. So if you have a Type C to Type C, you will get better performance than on Type A to Type C. So now let's copy this and let's paste it in back again. So folder, new folder, and copy and paste. So it's, if you can see, see around 400, 415, 419, 420. So there is like, you know, pretty hard uh, reduction in transfer if you do it from type A to type C, at least on this laptop. So I would say if you want the fastest transfer, use the type C to type C because that will give you the best transfer available right now. So yeah, that's about that. You also get this nice, super nice case. So you're getting a lot of goodies, guys, with this uh, Pi box. It's really nice also. Uh, I've seen this guy getting a little bit heated up, but at this point of time, at least, I can just showcase to you that I did a good transfer. It's around 31, so it's not bad at all. But I have seen this getting a little bit heated up here and there. Uh, if you do, you just keep it for a long time, or if, or if you don't have, you know, really good ambient temperature, it does get heated up. Not a lot, but noticeable to be honest with you because there's no fan or anything of that sort and if you put a higher uh, capacity one it will get more heated up but again no issues at all so it runs really really nice cool other than that what are the cons which i feel first of all the retention plug mechanism is pretty stupid and uh, i would say yes as per longevity is concerned like say the uh, toolless mechanism which my friend's one has uh, it is better but you know if that breaks he's done for but for this one uh you know if it even if i lose it i can just buy new ones so that's pretty cool but again i don't like how that thing works it's pretty finicky and i'm personally not a fan of it but other than that i think these 
the price itself, the accessories you get, like a lot of accessories you get for free with this. Uh, I would say it's a really good find. And I would say as per the build quality and things are concerned, it works really well. Again, if you want the faster speed, use Type-C to Type-C. If you don't have an option, you can go with the Type-A to Type-C. And that's about it. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I would say I think I covered up a good chunk of it. But just let's see if we have missed out on anything before I enclose. So again, 10 Gbps, 3.2. And it does just support the NVMe only. Keep in mind. I think there is uh, here. So if you see hopefully they have a better picture so in this case if you see it suppose the m key it doesn't support this one so this is from the older generation ones this is the newer nvmes so it only supports nvme so keep in mind it supports multiple variations of it too but uh, it only supports the nvme form factor so just keep that in mind so i think yeah i think that pretty much wraps it up guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye for now